opportunities in the hybrid and electric vehicle service market have never been better. If your automotive service business is looking for new opportunities to grow revenue for the bottom line, look no further. Hybrid and electric vehicle battery systems can offer you one of the most exciting opportunities in today's service market. The AR&D battery discharger unit and high voltage charger provides you this new opportunity in the fast growing business of reconditioning, repairing, and remanufacturing of hybrid and electric vehicle nickel metal hydride and lithium ion battery pack systems. The first two videos of this series focused on power and energy testing. After the battery pack has been tested, it must be charged so it can be retested, placed in storage, or installed in a vehicle for service. To ensure that the proper capacity or state of charge is achieved, it is necessary to use a charging system that provides the proper voltage, current, and charging time levels throughout the charging cycle. Additionally, it is important that the battery modules do not overheat during the charge cycle. Therefore, it may be necessary to utilize a step charging function as part of the battery pack programming strategy to ensure high battery module internal temperatures are not breached. It is critical that proper charging processes and procedures are used to ensure long battery pack service life. Therefore, this video will provide basic information on the following charging elements. First, high voltage charger connections. And second, high voltage charger basic programming setups. This will ensure the battery pack service life. Now the battery pack is ready for charging. Note that the technician is wearing his high voltage electrical safety gloves, class zero. He's now connecting the negative of the battery charger to the negative of the battery and positive of the charger to the positive of the battery. These connections can also be made at the contactor. Also notice he's installing the service disconnect. This is to ensure that both sides of the battery string are connected. Otherwise the battery will not charge. Now it's time to program the charger. After turning the battery charger on, the following items can be programmed. Voltage, current, and time. You can also use the iList program for step charging. Up to 16 steps can be used. Each step can have its own individual voltage, current, and time level. Over voltage can also be programmed. And also profiles can be saved so that if you have different battery packs to charge, each charge profile can be put in the battery charger so that you do not have to go through the sequencing of programming again. You can just recall the profile and charge the battery. The total technician time to connect the charger to the battery pack and to program the charger is less than five minutes. A very short sequence. For more information on AR&D battery equipment or any of the hybrid programs that they offer, please visit their website. Thank you.